Let's look at ETL, Extract, Transform, Load, and a newer approach called ELT, Extract, Load, Then Transform. We'll show how 1010 Data takes full advantage of ELT and the benefits of this approach. First, let's better understand ETL. Data loaded into a database with a specific logical schema must fit that architecture. A table with 10 columns needs values assigned to those columns when records are loaded. If column values need to be in a particular format, like numbers with two decimal places, or text that begins with A, all loaded data must match that format. These are domain constraints. The data must also conform to referential integrity constraints, which define how tables relate to each other. If loaded data deviates from the logical schema, this corrupts the database. The logical schema needs to be correct and complete before any data is loaded. You'll also need a process to clean, reorganize, and modify incoming data. This is ETL, Extract, Transform, and Load. We extract data from the source system, transform data to match the logical schema, and load transformed data into the database. Since transformation happens before you import data, we aren't using the database itself to power the transformation. But we can. Just switch the T and the L. That brings us to ELT. For ELT, Extract, Load, Transform, transformations occur after data is loaded. The 1010 data platform does the heavy lifting. With a schema-centric database, constraints prevent you from loading whatever you want into predefined tables and columns. In 1010 data's schema-less database, there's no predefined logical schema. Data makes its own schema as it's loaded. Most transformations can be done in the platform. With ELT, we load data as is, without upfront data modeling. We then use exploratory analysis to better understand it. This is most helpful with large data. It's easy to understand a 15 record table. It's much harder to understand a 10 billion record data set. Once we've used the platform to understand data, we can design transformations on it. Here, 1010 Data's interactive capabilities pay off as we prototype transformation at scale. When we find something we like, we save the query and incorporate it into the transform stage of ELT. Let's walk through an example. We need to load data from an operational data store to the 1010 platform. We'll use known data to cut down on investigation. The data is in good shape, as it came from a well-designed OLTP or Online Transaction Processing System. We're aiming to make the data analysis friendly. As small dimension tables get denormalized into larger fact tables, codes can be standardized and standard KPIs'd pre-computed. If the data is dirty, we may need additional transformations to clean it. Using the ETL approach, raw data flows into a transformation stage, pictured here as an ETL tool. Next, this is loaded into the 1010 data platform, which we'll use to query data for reporting. Here, transformations are done with external software before loading data. 1010 data supports both ETL and ELT, as there are benefits to both. With ELT, raw data loads directly into the platform, where data transformations happen without external processing. Transformations can be developed using 1010 Data's TRS, then implemented with the platform's APIs and SDKs. The transformation outputs can also be saved as new tables for future analysis. Here, the red arrows follow the flow of raw data as it undergoes data integration. The orange arrows track the flow of transformed data as it's used by analytical queries. There are advantages to ELT, Transformations can easily be done at scale and at much higher performance levels by using the platform's big data capabilities instead of slower external tools. Also, transformations are defined in the 1010 data query language, the same language used in queries and analysis. Users can do analysis and data transformation design. Even if one person builds transformations and someone else performs analysis, the analyst can read and understand data lineage. We start the ELT process by loading raw data into the 1010 data platform. 
It can then be archived for data audits and lineage investigations, with every action captured and stored. With ELT, we also have another option. Since transformations happen within the platform, we can either pre-compute or apply them when the query is run. When applying queries at runtime, we store the raw data and dynamically apply transformations only as needed. Data cleaning transformations can be saved in a library to use with the Quick App. Analysts can then use the TRS through the Quick App for an on-demand view of the data. This is called LTAR, short for Extract, Load, Transform, As Required. This gives us several advantages. First, we only need one version of the raw data to support transformations and queries. We can also easily change transformations by changing the saved logic. As business needs change, we rapidly adjust transformations with no changes to logical or physical schemas. Finally, data lineage is completely transparent. Any analyst can design, create, and review all data changes. LTAR opens up interesting possibilities. 1010 Data applies LTAR to design multi-user enterprise data warehouses. Here, you need a single source of truth for a business and not isolated, unsynchronized silos. However, you may not want all users to see all data. For example, a corporate user needs visibility to all data, while a store manager should only see summarized data for a specific region. We can attach each user to a role and have role-specific transform as required rules. Our corporate and store manager users can access the same raw data, but the store manager has an additional transform as required rule applied. Modifying data visibility for the store manager is an easy change. Just modify the associated transformation query and you're done.